All right, guys. So today we're gonna give you guys a little uh, quick look at a little upgrade for the Mini Z 4x4 little rock crawler. So one of the issues with this truck is the front axles to actually break pretty easy. Um, you can see down here. This is the broken set. I'm just driving around and I'm not sure what happened, but this snapped. Um, you can see the inside piece over here. Um, there's supposed to be two arms, but one side broke off and yeah, it's plastic. Um, so there's an, a good upgrade that also adds weight to uh, the front area. I know I see a lot of people add brass weights to the front. And this is the universal joint set uh, from Kyosho. It's an upgrade part. It's MXW010. And it's a universal joint set for the Mini Z 4x4. And this is the front. Now this whole thing is actually all steel. There's no plastic on here. So we got two of these guys that comes one for the left, one for the right. You can see, it looks very nice. It's either steel or aluminum. Um, I'm not sure, but one side looks like it's aluminum and the other side, other side looks like it's steel. Kyosho doesn't really have too much information on there, but I'm gonna give you guys a little weight comparison uh, between stock and the steel upgrade. So next up, um, we have the manual. So Kyosho does give you a manual how to in install this uh, hard universal joint set. Um, it's actually very simple. Remove the wheel, take out the three screws that holds the bearing on, and this whole piece will come off. And then to install, reverse process, put in, put in the new upgraded piece, bearing, and the wheel. Um, a couple of things you will need um, for this one is, first you will need some uh, lightweight oil to uh, lubricate the little um, joints here. Since it's all uh, metal, you will need to lubricate it with some kind of light oil. And then next up, uh, for... The screw that holds the wheel onto the axle, you will need some thread locker. Um, so because because you know it's metal to metal, if you don't put thread locker, then that means that the screw can vibrate and come loose, and that would suck if you're on the riding outside, driving outside, and um, you lose it. So let's go ahead, power on the scale. I know many people are probably wondering what's the weight difference. So this is the broken set, same exact thing, it's just missing one tab. So you can see it's roughly about five, uh, half a gram. It could be off a little bit, but it's a cheap little scale, but it's about half a gram. And then it's centered, it's uh, calibrated right there for zero. And then this piece right here weighs 2.3 grams. So you can see 2.3 grams. So it does add a big difference in weight. And just if you guys can't do math or you guys just wanna see both together, it adds four and a half grams um, to uh, the lower part of the wheel compared to this one where it's only half a gram. Um, well, not even reading anymore for some reason. So let me just uh, make sure it's there. All right. He's off, back on. Okay. It's about half a gram. So if you add in two sides or the missing tab, let's just say it's a gram. For one, 2.3, and there you go. About four and a half, 4.6. Uh, so yeah, it adds a big difference in weight. This part uh, from Kyosho America costs roughly about 34 bucks or something like that. So 34 bucks, but you do get a much better quality a joint that's not gonna break it's metal and it adds weight so it's an upgrade and a performance mod so there you go um just want to give you guys a little quick look at the weight and the new upgraded part for the kyosho uh, mini z 4x4 you can see <laughs> the guy taking apart because it broke so don't get drive to one of the wheels so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video